Hang on, I just want to... No, it's not. If you have a YouTube video open, it'll actually register. Let's see. 29 second cut. Oh. So guys, Corona 7 here, we're going to be playing this anime game, and it's definitely not a dark psychological horror, everybody. Definitely not. Definitely. The, the, why would it be? Like, look at it! It looks so cute! Oh, and my sister's here. Say hi, China. Hi. You're supposed to say hi, China. Well, I'm sorry if you guys can't hear her well. We, I only have one microphone. So we're just gonna jump right in. Oh. What else? Ah, oh, I can't add spaces? But I mean, really, what else? Look at my thumbnails. Of course I'm gonna call myself Ash. Hey! What? I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is... Sayori, thank you for the pronunciation. That's why she's here, ladies and gents. Pronunciation help. Because she's actually she actually knows what the heck is going on and what the heck will go on, so she knows the dark twists and turns. Her secret her secrets dwell in the minds of mortals and twists them. Seriously though, she actually knows everything, so I think. Uh, anyway, that girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works because you've known each other for so long. I don't know. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, we would oversleep more and more frequently. Well, that's because when you a teenager you want to sleep when you're a little kid you're just like no I don't want to sleep I don't want to take a nap and when you're a teenager you're just like please let me sleep anyway uh, and I would get tired of waiting up oh she would oversleep more and more frequently again I don't blame her see previous example sorry my Brain. My eyes aren't reading goodly right now. I, I don't need glasses, I was just making a joke. Uh, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase me, uh, uh, she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. <laughs> However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. I, I'm, don't expect voice acting, guys. Do do okay, uh, pick a couple characters. Well, you don't know any characters. Pick a couple characters in your head and just, like, tap my shoulder or something. Sorry, guys, I keep brushing the mic with my hand. Still don't expect stellar voice acting. <laughs> I'm talking about from me, <laughs> but burn. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. I overslept again. Well, then you shouldn't have overslept, to soggy. By the way, that's a Sailor Moon reference for just for all of you people who have lives. this time. 
maybe, but it's only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Whoa, hey! We're getting this. <laughs> Do I have to start getting defensive? That's mean, Ash. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Jeez, I'm a jerk! <laughs> by the way, Zach, if you're watching this, I will stand by you no matter what. Just saying that. I'm, I'm a good friend. Don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Well, you know, whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and right go away to school. By the way, this is what the game's gonna be mostly consisting of, so if you don't like visual novels, run! Also, trigger warning for disturbing. I specifically said at the beginning that there wasn't any. Hey, I'm just saying, if you send something to extremely disturbing content, I would definitely take your leave. It's not for the faint of heart. And go watch Saw, that's a good movie. <laughs> I'm joking, by the way, I'm just joking. <laughs> Sorry, my sister was making strange faces. <laughs> As we draw near this... As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. When it said speckled, I thought bird poop. I don't know why. It's a poor bird. <laughs> it's an adjective. By the way, Ash, have you decided on a club to join yet? Uh, I don't know. How about the Deadite Slaying 101 club? I could, I could host it. A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been... I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. I did? Jeez. Again, I'm such a jerk! <laughs> I've... I guess if you consider Army of Darkness Ash, I picked up the right character. I picked the right name. Uh... Did I? That was my reaction! I'm sure it's possible that I did, in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. I never... <laughs> I never have any of those conversations with my friends, ever. <laughs> Moving on! Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me, when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Is that like... My, no, I don't watch enough anime. I do watch some anime, but not enough for that to count as my life. I do play plenty of games, though. That's why I started this channel. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Well, hate to break your heart, sweetheart, but college, not my idea of fun time. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years. <laughs> you're not used to the real world. <laughs> Or training. Oh. I was just like, what the bloody bollocks is a neat? You trust me, right? I don't know. Don't make me keep worrying about you. I'm very worried about myself. This game has tr literal trigger warnings. And I watch movies like Saw that don't. But come to think of it, Ash vs. Evil uh, Dead probably should have. It was really rough. <laughs> alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? 
Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. I do owe it to her. Like, uh, apparently, my character is a huge jerk. Just like a horrible friend. Just absolutely awful. I mean, why does she even hang out with me? Yeah. I imagine he'd be one of the kids that I flip off as they cross my street. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I, I le even let myself relent to her. Not sure what rel relent means. I mean, I, it's probably. You're giving in. You're giving in to her. I'm in high school. I should probably know that word. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. And if she does exaggerate everything in, inside. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside her head. Oh, I forgot to pull that splinter out. I'll have to do that later. Wow, that was a weird transition. Apparently we're watching Star Wars now. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and, bef and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall and look for an ounce of motivation. Gotta pack up my stuff and things. Walking Dead reference, by the way. Clubs. Just, just clubs. Just clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. Clubs. My friend wants you to me to join a club. I'll get a drink up for master. I'm sorry. I just had to do that. The wording is just incredible. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Well, so guys, have you seen Ca the Castlevania e anime on, on Netflix? There's only four episodes. That's not a joke, that's just the sad truth. There are only four episodes. I, I can't wait till season two. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. Then why s then... Then how's Sayori there if you're literally the only one in the classroom? Hmm, Ash? Hmm? Illuminati confirmed! I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. Well then. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. No what? Well, that you could come to my club. But I want to go to the anime club and talk about Sailor Moon and the Death Note! Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Jeez! <laughs> a horrible person! You know, that should just be the name of this episode. I'm a horrible person. Actually, I might do that. Hey, Mimi. Say she agrees with me. Sayori is vice president of the Literature Club. It's the Literature Club of DEATH! Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. Then why? I am... Wow. We have surpassed asked that one scene in Army of Darkness level of jerk, and we've moved up to that one dude in Hitch who Hitch refuses to work with jerk. I mean, this dude is just awful. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. 
What if she actually does have a real passion in literature? What if she reads the classics of... Uh, G the dude who wrote Animal Club. Not Animal Club. Animal Farm, thanks, China. George Orwell, that's it, yeah. George Orwell. She writes poetry. Oh, she does? Thanks for the spoilers. She, it, it, spoiler right here, right here. My sister just spoiled the entire game. I'm I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sure. I'm I'm sure she, this dude's a jerk. I'm not gonna. It, we're sitting through unreliable narrator. I know this trope. I've used this trope. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of vice president. That's usually how that works. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less man. You do not know. You, If you want to read a book, read a good book, read The Cask of the Amount, not Cask of the Amount, although that's a good story too. Uh, Count of Monte Cristo. It's a classic, best story ever. Mwah! Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. But I want to talk about Sailor Moon and... I, I used that joke already. <laughs> and that's... Sailor Moon, Castlevania, and Death Note. Those are, the, those are the only anime I watch. I mean, in, unless you can't Transformers Armada. I mean, it is kind of anime. Well, then I guess Castlevania is an anime either. No, anime is a style. It's, it, or at least that's what I see it as. I see it as a style of animation. Avatar the Last Airbender is anime. I consider it an anime. But it's not. Hmm. When you watch it, it's very clearly a western style animation too. That's true. Avatar the Last Airbender is just a, it's just a cartoon. It's a western cartoon. That takes from anime influences. Hmm. Oh. Tomato, tomato. Anime is the Japanese word for cartoon. Okay, that's actually a pretty good point. Can't can't argue with the dictionary. Can't argue with your math answers, though. I do that all the time. I just be like, you stupid answers, you're wrong, and then I redo reread the problem and I screwed up. <laughs> and I just be like, oh. Why do you care so much anyway? Is she gonna be like a psycho girlfriend? Don't answer that. I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. Oh, okay. Uh, well, that's that's your fault, sweetie. And Natsuki make cupcakes and everything. Food? You have my interest. <laughs> you sound really weird when you do the anime laugh. That's true. I mean, it is a weird laugh. Don't make promises you can't keep. I just had to say it in that uh, tone. I just had to. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an. Jeez, dude! You just called your friend an airhead man. I hope this dude dies at the end. I. Like, or if she's so cunning as if to have planned all of this out. I mean, maybe she is. Maybe she's a murderer. Plot twist. The innocent girl is the one with the knife. Or chainsaw. I, I would go with a chainsaw, personally, if I was going to murder people. Or like a rocket launcher and some sort of... Automatic weapon, or I know in a Rafflecon <laughs> launcher is an automatic, but you know, you get the gist. I'm not trying to discourage you, but if you take the time to do a 30 second comment on every dialogue, it's gonna take you a very long time to get through this game. Well, you know. 
Uh, and I don't on every. <laughs> I have standards. I don't have to do it every time. But, you know, just... Two out of three. <laughs> I let out a long sigh. So you basically just go... <sighs> I've done that a couple times. I'm not gonna lie. Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Jeez, dude! Yay, let's go! It's yes, not yay, China! Get it together! <laughs> There's the Star Wars transition again. Is that just all the only transition there is? That Star Wars swipe? And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake, my gosh, dude! He's really dramatic. Apparently, and just, he's not a very nice person, like, I don't like playing as him, I feel dirty for doing so. He's, he's not very nice at all. He's kind of rude. I mean, it's one thing to be rude to the people you don't like, because, I mean, you don't like them, but it's... Kill them with kindness. And not my style. I prefer to let people know that I don't like them if I don't like them. Oh well, yeah, but it really annoys people who don't like you when you're nice to them. Mm-mm. Uh, but, I mean... What was I gonna say? I don't know. Uh, I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and go to upstairs. Hang on, I have to read this like a noir thing. China makes some rain noises. <laughs> a section of the school I rarely visit. Being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you not to call me a new member. You know, I'm not a. I've never watched SpongeBob, but I have an appreciation for good characters. Uh, wouldn't it be great if someone just dubbed, uh, did a reading of all of these lines in Squidward's voices, in Squidward's voice, of all of this dude's lines? That'd be hilarious. Eh, I glance around at the room. Ooh. I just did the... <laughs> That's why you have a webcam for Let's Plays. Do you want to do her voice? No. Not at all? I can't do high-pitched voices and... I have a high-pitched voice. How do you know? Okay, then. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. I kind of went off flutter shy on that. <laughs> it, it, it works. Sayori is always says nice things about you. Well, she just so you know, she's wrong. I'm a horrible person. Uh, if you're the murderer, act murder me, please. Seriously? You bought a- you brought a boy? Oh, you know that boy. <laughs> oh. That- <laughs> when you say something like that, you just gotta impose that voice on it. You did really great. That's <laughs> what you <she> sound <laughs> I mean, come on. Way to kill the atmosphere. It's so perfect. You said you'd do her. Oh yeah, I'll do Monica. Ah, Ash, what a nice surprise. It's cute anime babes. <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> dead, dead silence fills the air. <laughs> All words. All words escape me in this situation. This club. <laughs> a 
Okay. I'm not gonna fault him for that line right there. It's true. I mean, I'm a straight guy, so I'm not at all gonna deny this. I mean, I'm sure my sister doesn't either. Is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry. Pronunciation, please. Thank you. <laughs> I guess that's her name, then. The girl with the sour ad attitude. Oh, you guys both have. You guys should get along great! Uh, whose name is apparently not Suki is the one I don't recognize. Well, again, you guys should get along great. You're both jerks. A what? Yeah, but I usually just call that being rude. I. No, uh, she's not. She's just. She's got a wall. You gotta break it down. Well. I like Natsuki. I think she's cute. I don't have anything to break it down with. All I have is my gamepad, which I'm pretty sure died on me. Uh, the this joystick always registers as being in the downright position. Which is really weird. Anyway. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made the cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. You mean all the time? <laughs> she's a nice girl. Trust me, she's cute. She acts cute. Sayori says that quietly. Hang on, I forgot to do the Nora thing. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, and then turns back around to the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. Lots of energy. And this is Yori, the smartest in the club. <laughs> Yori, eh? <laughs> D don't say things like that. Yori, who appears to who appears to be more mature and timid, comparatively, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Well... What is it with anime and having unrealistic hair colors? Like, chick's hair is pink, and then it's eggplant. Her hair's pink, too. Yeah, but it's a much dirtier pink. Because... <laughs> There are dirty pink hair people out there, I'm sure. You just gotta go to, like, Switzerland or something. I, I'm sorry to anyone from Switzerland who watches this video. It's a joke. So, please. I think it's cute. I don't see it as a big deal. I was just pointing something out in the video. Yeah, I actually really enjoy the anime drawing style. I mean, look at look at these faces. They're just beautiful faces. Beautiful, just beautiful people. Beautiful. This. Yeah, let's give an applause to these faces. Yeah. Ah, oh, well, it's nice nice to meet both of you. It's nice to meet both of you. <laughs> Sorry, tongue not wording gladly today. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. Well, hello. Uh, wait, how do I know how you? They're just throwing me into this world, like, with no information or anything. Well, yeah, that's how it works. Ash was already a character before you showed up. Yeah, I guess. It's great to see you again, Ash. Okay, guys, I know one of the twists here. I'm not gonna reveal it, though. Not right here, but I know one of the eventual twists. Checking your Fitbit. It's not really a twist. It's just like a cute feature. 
It's a bit more than cute. If, if hang on. <laughs> sorry, I had to muffle out the spoiler. Monica smiles sweetly. She she smiles sweetly. Does she, she smiles sweetly? Does she? <laughs> oh jeez, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, look at that. Her her buttocks muscles cannot be that comfortable. I mean, the the legs and the way the legs and the curvature and all that. <laughs> I was looking at specifically her stance because I was like, can I make can I make a walking dead joke out of this? No, I can't. If she was leaning backwards then I could make a Negan joke, but anyway. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Then, then we don't exactly know each other. I mean, I know everyone in my class, but that's because I'm homeschooled. The only person in my class is my sister. Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, and athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. Well, way to be a pessimist, dude. That's true! So, having her smile at me feels genuinely a little SEXY! <laughs> That's not what it says. <laughs> you, you too, Monica. Come sit down, Ash. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I wonder who I should choose. I wonder. Well, now it's the part of the game where I start making fa start play playing favorites with these characters. And knowing my luck, because my favorite character at the beginning of The Walking Dead was Glenn and and T Dog, who both died horribly. Sorry for the spoilers, by the way, but everyone knows Glenn dies. Stupid Yahoo. Anyway, I'm probably gonna pick what, the character who dies the most gruesomely to be my favorite. I mean, that's that's just my luck. You kind of make her sound like Pinkie Pie, you know? It fits. She's cute and bubbly. Yeah. And has pink hair. <laughs> Cause, you know, aesthetics. Eh. Hang on. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks or desks arranged to form a table. This isn't a table, but okay. I in real life though, I I do enjoy the ingenuity. Uh, I always en enjoy watching people get crafty. Uh, when I first started recording, I had my Bluetooth headphones hooked up to my microphone computers, and I had my regular earbuds into my head, and I just had that whole system kind of jerry-rig it together. I'm just talking about the ingenuity. <laughs> and, and, and just, just let me have this. Why you gotta take away my happiness? Anyway, uh, yeah, fortunately I have an actual thing now, as I said in the last video, which I haven't uploaded yet. I, I really need to do that. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened, so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray. Oh dear, I, when I heard grabs, I was like, oh no, this is horror, right? And I, I imagined like her pulling out like a knife or a machete or something. I watch too many slashers. Uh, and Yuri opens the closet. 
still feeling awkward. I take a seat next to Sayori. I can't get a choice? Come on. I'm basically reading a book. See, uh, that means I'm just reading a book. Yeah, but it's a book with pictures. Well, I... there's a little gameplay later on. Oh, that's good. Natsuki proudly marches to the back of the table, tray in hand. I need these cookies, everyone. What? Whatever. <laughs> cookies, cupcakes, they're the same. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I'm, I'm always showing off the stuff I make, but... but okay, well, that's a more practical skill than the one I have. I, my skill is making things out of cardboard. Like, what am I going to do with that? Okay, I could do that. That could be a career thing I could do. Oh! Okay, are you ready? Look, she's so excited. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Ta-da! <laughs> whenever, whenever I hear that ooh thing, I always think of Rarity being dramatic. <laughs> yeah, e exactly like that. I don't think I can either. I think... I mean, I can do Rainbow Dash pretty well, or at least I could. I haven't tried it in a long time. By the way, I've, all of my viewers now know I'm a brony. That's okay. I wear the, I wear the badge of bronyism. Bronyism is that a word? Bronydom? I don't know. I wear, I wear the badge proudly, is what I'm saying. Anyway. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy de cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. I, if I don't get to see these cupcakes, I'm going to be sorely disappointed. You don't get to see the cupcakes? Oh my gosh, you don't get to see the. Ugh. Life's not worth living anymore. Well, I mean. We have enough cords here to strangle ourselves if we want to. That, that got dark fast. I'm gonna just move on. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. Okay, that is adorable. I mean, I think it's so adorable that I wouldn't want to eat it. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I like meat, which actually used to be alive. I, don't, I think I can deal with it. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. I like the little thing. It's just an anime thing. Well, I, okay. Really I, well, I don't have experience with anime. I have experience with horror. It's an anime thing, and it's I'm a slash head, not a. I mean, slash head's not a real term. So w the only th term I can think of is is weeaboo considered a, a, derogic, a derogatory term? I don't know. Hmm. Comment below if you're okay with being called a weeaboo. <laughs> <laughs> Sayori grabs the first one, then Monica. I follow. And I shove it in my face because it's food. It's delicious. Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing all over her face. Sorry. It's delicious. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Simple, you peel it and then just shove it all in your face at once. I don't think that's, <laughs> that's how I do it. <laughs> That's how I eat cupcake. <laughs> That's the best way to eat them. You just shove the whole thing in your mouth. You, you, you break your jaw off of the hinge chewing. It's all good. It's all good. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Well, is she now? Bow, chicka, bow, wow. 
Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Oh. She just wants to see me eat her food. Oh, yeah. If you made cupcakes, you want people to eat them, too. Well, I like watching people watch my Let's Plays, so, yeah. I'm... I also check my fanfiction sets religiously. Does that make me a narcissist? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. If she's the murderer, she's going to poison everybody. I can tell it already. I, I watch way too much horror. This is real... Hang on. Oh, wait, no. He didn't chew with his mouth closed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, whoops. I accidentally pressed the home button. I'm just gonna leave the bollocks, and I didn't save it all. Minimize it. Nope. Oh. Oh, right. Uh, I know what's gonna happen here. I... I, I have to close out of it. I hope it doesn't restart me at the beginning. Close window. Stop clicking it. Be patient. That usually works instantly. But you still have the recording, so you can just upload this. Yeah. Call it part one. Yeah. You'll just have to clip off the ends. I didn't expect this to. Hang on. We're getting real crafty up in here. Here we go. Yeah, some games are just a pain to record. You gotta get used to it. Yeah. Uh. Don't hit the Windows button again. Yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and continue. This is a really fun game. Okay. Uh, uh, the. Most people need a couple hours per recording anyway. Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna probably go that long. I mean, I have a Javi the Hung video to watch. Bollocks. I have to taint Ash's good name again. Just... Amazing. I need to learn to save more often. Okay, that's good. Let's go ahead and go back to the settings and turn off the skip so I don't accidentally do that. Return. Thank you, Natsuki. Ugh. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? <laughs> made them for you or anything. But you literally made it for the new person. Plan how to get a... Eh? I've, that, when you said that the first time, that is literally the first time I had ever heard that term. So I was just like, what the heck? Well, you know, you know what a dare is. No. Like yandere. Yandere isn't just an original, uh, just a word? Oh. Sorry, I, I don't, I don't Japan very well. Anyway. Yeah, I thought you technically did. Sayori said, well, maybe. 
but, but, but it's not for you, you know? You! Tell me! Alright, alright. Don't get your panties in the twist. If you were wearing those, I imagine she would be, right? This is a school. There are dress codes. Yeah, that's true. We're not that far in the game yet. And I don't even know if that'll happen. <laughs> and I just earned myself a flick for that comment. Okay, I'm I'm a teenage boy. You had to know something like that was coming. Well, I, I, I don't know what this is rated or what kind of content's in it or anything. There's no sex in it. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, that would help. It's not. I'm not worried about tainting my innocence or anything. I'm worried about having to fi try and censor the video. Okay. Anyway, I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and didn't dismiss the conversation. I understood the logic. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before sitting down on the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? That's, okay, that's actually a pretty reasonable question. Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, well, it isn't a hot cup of tea. and it, Oh, I screwed up there, something fierce. Let me restart that. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I mean, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, why me? Because it's a visual. What is this? They're all obsessed with you. Okay, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, I'm, but I'm like, like the only boy in the school or something? That sounds like a horrible existence. Anyway. Uh. That, that, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. Wait. Yeah, that's my character. I, I, meant, I meant that, you know. I, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me. Oh, wait, that's the wrong character. <laughs> you could have told me! <laughs> well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I at least enjoy tea. Uh, me too, I like sitting down uh, with a nice thing of peppermint tea. Put some sugar in there, it tastes just like peppermint candy. Mwah! And then you just write. Write fan fiction. I'll leave a link to my account. Gotta plug myself. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in release. Why is everyone breaking their back in this game? Just... <coughs> I guess we know who the really real killer was. I mean, the posture. <laughs> no, that one's not terrible. Monica raises an eyebrow and then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? My friend forced me to. I was gonna go watch anime and have a great time with my with some anime friends. Like, but no. I guess I'm stuck here. Um I was afraid for this question. Well, I'm but I'm not, I just answered it. <laughs> Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Just say it. I mean, come on, dude. Be honest. I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? Okay. As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. 
Monica, I'm surprised. Well, I, I don't even I don't even know what to say to that. How come you decided to start your own club? Oh, okay, that's a reasonable question. You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Uh, well, you know. <laughs> ah! <laughs> And all, and all kinds of other stuff. Like seriously, p politics has become really stressful. Well, she still said politics, but yeah, the high school politics. I I don't know much about high school politics. I'm 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 homeschooled. I've I've been strapped. I've been chained to the basement for years. I'm joking. I'm joking. That's that's a joke. I'm not making a bad name for homeschoolers. I'd much rather take something I personally out of it. That's fair enough. What would what would my club be? The Evil Dead Club. All of one person there. Me. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Yeah? Monica really is a great leader. That was cool. Yuri also nods in agreement. Remaining silent to see it, sealing her cold, dead lip. What, what, what even happened there? <laughs> then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. Must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. That, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I again, I don't know. I'm homeschooled. We don't have school events. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Brr. Not the game, me. I've, I'm recording in my basement. My basement's underground next to the... Anyway, my sister is egging me forward. Well, it's gonna take forever. We're still on the first day. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Isn't she adorable? Come on. I. I. She's I put so much in suit. I put so much enthusiasm into it. That's because she's enthusiastic. Like, I. I didn't even mean to read it when. And during the first one, it just kind of slipped out, and I was like, oh my gosh. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. That's cool. Is it just me or does it look like Sayori. Sayori is grabbing Yuri's hair? <laughs> I've never. I'll never let go, Rose. Monica must have worked very hard just to find these three. Well, we applaud her for her work. Let's hope they don't all die. Maybe that's why we're all here. Oh, maybe that's why we're all so delighted by the idea of. An maybe that's why they were all. So delighted by the idea of jo a new member joining. Yeah. That makes sense. Man, my... Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. My advice? Start slow. Judging by you, you'll probably need to start with, like, Dr. Seuss or something. Oh, oh burn! <laughs> So, Ash, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh... 
considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. But lots and lots of comic books. Does that count as literature? I don't think that counts as literature. What? Manga. Well, I guess I do too then. I mutter the word, the word quietly to myself. Half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. <laughs> she sensed the disturbance in the force. Manga. 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 It looks like she wanted to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without even thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. <laughs> You're getting suckered, dude! You're getting suckered by the chicks. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her fingers. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. That's... that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. Uh, Harry Potter's a great example of that. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Now that, that is the really, that is true. The really, I'm not gonna go into a rant about my fan fiction. I'll, I'll leave that for another video. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed so revert, reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her eyes light up when she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. What? No, read that line, looking at a mirror. But you know, I like a lot of things. Hang on. Save. I'll make a different one for each choice. I sometimes do that on The Walking Dead Telltale game, and I'll just be like, okay, I want to do something special for this. I want to see what happens. I, I want to see what happens if I do this, but I also want to continue this route, so... Yeah, that's true. Like, hey, what? was that some sort of burn about my faulty recording? No, I'm just saying if the recording does mess up later and like half of it is broken when you go to watch it back, then you can pick up from your last save. Okay. Stories with deep psychological elements and usually immerse me so well usually immerse me as well immerse me so well isn't even like a phrase uh but i deep psychological elements is that foreshadowing isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop by the way, guys, if my voice sounds like death that coming from Mickey Mouse during that when I do read this, I'm sorry. Anyway, I've be I've been reading a lot of horror lately. <laughs> You've been into horror, well, what about the classics? Well, except for books. Well, classic horror books. Uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Frankenstein. That was the first horror book I ever read. Uh, I read a horror book once. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
this, especially if you read it like this. Ah, uh, I read a horror book once. <laughs> And he goes, I read a horror book once. <laughs> <I'm> just... <laughs> Desperately trying to find something to connect with, to. Yeah. I desperately. Oh, that's actually how you said it. I desperately grasped to something I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. You said it, not me. Oh! <laughs> Oh, burn! Oh, man! <laughs> That's you. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. I'm automatically suspicious. You are way too much into this stuff. <laughs> But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, I can't really put it down. <laughs> I like that. I agree with that. Surreal horror is often very successful. Okay, this is getting creepy. It's meta. Very meta. So Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes darted to me, over to me for a split second. Never mind. She was probably afraid that she'd be one of the ones to die early on. She, she feels like an early victim. I, I watch a lot of horror, so like I've memorized the tropes and stuff. Right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. Busted. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. Your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. I ship it. Aww. I, I kind of. I ship Natsuki and Yuri. I, I was joking, but it kind of, you know, they seemed like they get along really well. Yeah, you just gotta wait. They really just seem that way. Say where he slut. Sidles. 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 Uh, are you sure it's not Siddles? <laughs> I would it's so fun to say it that way. Sayori Siddles uh, behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Yes, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. I can't write poems, they just sound terrible. When I do. <sighs> Why don't you share them sometime? N no! Natsuki averts her eyes. Y you wouldn't like them. <laughs> ah, not a very confident writer yet. Is this just me or does that sound like really, like... Like he's talking down to her? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Specifically with that, ah. Uh. Yeah. Like, if you got rid of the ah, uh, dot, 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 it would be, like, ah, oh, I see, you're not a very confident writer yet. Yeah, but that ah uh, makes it sound like, ah, uh, I see. You're not a very confident writer yet. Yeah. <laughs> the wording could have been better on his part. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing event and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? 
Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I... I guess it's the same for Yuri. Jeez! Well, I mean... Ah, yes, nervous person here. <laughs> nervous! This person is experiencing low self esteem, everybody. Everybody, run! No, there's the one main issue of self esteem. I'm not gonna get in, actually. Just too much is bad, but too little is good. You have to kinda exist in the no self esteem area, in my opinion. No meaning you just don't care. You, I, oh well, I meant too little is also bad. Having self-esteem is good. Well, you should be proud of things you do. Yeah, but not to the. You should feel like you're good. You're good. You're yeah. Good. Yeah, but you also shouldn't go. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good just because I'm me. Because that's that's a very narcissistic thing to do. Well, it depends on how far it goes. Anyway. Aww, I wanted to read everyone's poems. I don't write poetry, I write violent fan fiction about Disney movies. I mean, ah, what I was trying to say is I agree with that. You shouldn't change who you are. Even if people who are around you think that you're a horrible person yeah. just for thinking what you think and believing what you believe and all that. Yeah. There you go. Sadly, on both sides of the opinion spectrum thing. Anyway. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> the idea is, her, is us calling 911 guess it broke her back. <laughs> okay. Hmm? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at M Monica? Monica. Monica. Oh, the, an actual normal name. Well, not to say that any of these are... Not to say that these aren't normal, I just mean normal as in, like, normal for someone in here in the States to have over in America! Anyway, continue. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. <laughs> I'm screwed. That's the That's it. I'm screwed. So screwed. Can I just like copy a chapter of fanfiction in? Does it have to rhyme? Do I lose if I rhyme? If I don't rhyme? Uh, um, mm, mm. Yeah! Let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. <sighs> Isn't that right, Ash? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. <laughs> my... My emotion and romanticism for women jumps out of my body and just controls my body with no logical thinking whatsoever because that's what happens to him every other time hold on there's still one problem eh? what's that? now back to the original topic of me joining the club Bluntly come forth with what I it's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought because you're a jerk. I think it's because they're all looking at him like that. 
because oh wow I didn't even look at their face it's just like uh huh I I yeah dude I'm only going to give you helpful advice once run oh that's you. I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> or better yet, the Hulk, Hulk version. <laughs> you all... I'm defenseless against these girls. The cute girls. They drive me. <laughs> How am I supposed to make clear-headed decision when it's all like this? Okay, I have to agree with them at this point, but not because they're like cute or anything, but because look at these faces. They're so sad. You've you've crushed them. The last time I was this rude in a video game is when I made a little girl cry in The Walking Dead. Broke their hearts and That's it. If writing poems is the price I pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. I'M THE ONE WHO HAS TO DO ALL THE WORK, DUDE! Oh, you're also reading the benefits. i have to look at that later. Some people on my Evil Dead group on Facebook commented on the meme I made. If I make enough, I might do a compilation. If I figure out how to make a compilation. <laughs> right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Okie dokie! <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. Forgive me, sister, for I have sinned. <laughs> one by one, the girl's eyes light laid up. Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. No! Don't touch me. She she didn't go she wasn't going to, I was just making sure. Hey. You really did scare me for a moment. So my actual plan was to scare you to show you that horror can be really scary at times. I just pulled that out of my butt. <laughs> if you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super expletive. <laughs> ah! Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. How can I forget? Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Ash, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, though really, you gotta admire her. She's bending over backwards to get this club up and running. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? Buddy, it's not you. It's me. I can't write poems. You're screwed. I'm screwed, you're screwed, she's screwed, we're all screwed. I'm not screwed, I can watch. <laughs> yeah, you're not even doing any of the work. I win. <laughs> My sister is the winner of this game. No exception. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside of me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat and as you're in. No, no, sorry, Natsuki clean up their food. I was getting it. My tongue just twist it off. I'm laugh. Hey, Ash. Since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? 
that's right. Shari and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed for the school clubs. Sure, might as well. This is your friend. Don't just say, might as well. Say, okay, sure, yeah. With that, the two of us departed to the, uh, the club room to make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy to East? Ugh, sorry. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Well, you're the one who made that decision, not me. You're reaping what you sow. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I just need to make the most of my circumstances. <gasps> Start playing some dramatic music or humming. And I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. <laughs> oh, oh, thank goodness. Oh. I, I don't know. I haven't picked my favorites yet. I don't know. Hmm. There's only three here. Shouldn't there be a fourth one unless she's the murderer? Monica's kind of like your mentor character. Mmm, okay. Okay. These are the girls you can Okay, uh But, okay, I don't want to, I don't want to torture Sayori any more than I have to for this game, so I'm not going to choose her, that's just, yeah, in that round. Again, I hope I get axe murdered, axe murdered tonight, not me. Okay, then I'll choose her. Maybe she'll actually. Maybe I'll actually learn some lessons. Okay, so pick her, or is it the next one? Yeah. That's right. Tenacious, wonderful boop. <laughs> well, tenacious is obviously very yeah. Captive. I wonder who that attracts. Huh. Ah, oh, dang it! <laughs> I'm. I don't understand Q. Just dang it! Cheeks, that has to be okay. You're gonna pick Sayori by accident. Help me, please! Uh, party. That has that son of aw. <laughs> oh well, at least it's not <laughs> one check. Say or yeah. Cloud. 
Woods. Color. <laughs> Shiny. Fit. I am thinking so. Hair. Fluffy. Yep, I gotta see that. Hi again, Ash. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> oh, I considered it several times. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Unlike you're cool. Oh! He said, at least I keep my word, and I said, unlike you're cool. <laughs> it, 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 I, did, I didn't think I'd have to... Oh, by the way. Ah! <laughs> Is that just gonna be a running joke with this game? <laughs> Crack, ow. Well, well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last one to come in. So everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Ash. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Save. Look, you're a hero saver. Apparently. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on! Like, she deserves any slack. Thank you! You know, I agree with this chick. I mean, seriously. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. Yeah, because I'm a jerk. I, I'd, if I were in a school and joining a club, I'd probably join, like, an acting club or something. I've always wanted to act. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to come here and just hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Dude, you're screwed. Run. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. MANGA IS LITERATURE! Uh, I just... Ear rape warning, by the way. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops her back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Ash always gives it his best, as long as he's having fun. Well... I think that's a lie. I think that's a complete and utter lie. Helps me with busy work without me even asking. I do? Maybe I'm not so bad after all. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sorry, really, that's because your room is messy. It's so messy, it's distracting. Well, oh, there that goes. Okay. Jerk. And you almost set your house on fire once. I was... Uh, I was so close to actually maybe forgiving some... Giving this guy a little bit of slack, but I don't know if he's gonna ruin it. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Just fiddling with her hair. I fiddle with my hair, but usually when I'm stressed out, and like I do it differently, I like do the Shane brush. Uh, Sayori. Hmm? Oh, that was you. Dead silence. As usual, Sayori seemed oblivious to the weird situation and she just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought 
you something today, you know? Wait, wait, Sayori. Eh, wait, me? Mm, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. Look at that. She's she's so a blush. She's terrified. What is it? N never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal, and it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess it's up to it means it's up to me to rescue the situation. I'm such a good person. He's such a nice guy. He can rescue any nervous girl. Call one eight hundred nervous girl rescue. One eight hundred nice guy. <laughs> one eight hundred definitely not a narcissistic jerk. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah. I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read. It's... So it should keep your attention. <laughs> okay! There's nothing. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. If you get rid of the even if you don't usually read part. Oh, epic burn. It just. Uh, can I, like. I, I, no, I can't, sadly. I can't edit worth a darn. But, like, if I were doing that, sunglasses would just <laughs> drop down. Air horns. We could, you know, discuss it, discuss it if you wanted. This, this is this is how how is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked a book she thinks I'll like despite not read despite me not reading much. Well, thank you, Yuri. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. Yeah, because your pace is going to be pretty slow. <laughs> oh! I look forward to hearing about what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book, because books are awesome. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. <laughs> intense expression, go! It's finally done! It's finally done! <laughs> Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. -da 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 -da. Nope, that's the Punisher theme. Ugh! I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. Ah, oh, she came out of the closet, I see. Natsuki, Natsuki. Uh, looking for something in there? <laughs> She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. Uh, what's the point of keeping your collection organized? Someone else is just gonna mess it up! I, I have that, that feeling sometime. Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga? You, you read manga, right? Uh... Sometimes. Manga is one of those things that... You can't admit you're really into it, unless you can. Hang on. Manga is one of those things you, where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna. Are we done? 
Uh, yeah, we're we're done. It's ten thirty. Yeah, it's really late. Don't you gotta go to work tomorrow? Oh. Wait, did they change it up again? Yeah. So, thank you guys, everybody, for watching. This is my sister, uh, Leaf Path the uh, for now or whatever the heck. Leaf Path for now art. Leaf Path for now art. Uh. Go, uh, I'll... Do you have a post-it on you so I can, like, stick that to my computer? I don't have any post-its on my computer. No, no, it's just Yeah, I just want to remember to put it in the description, to link you in the description. But yeah, because I'm not going to upload this tonight, it's already too late, and then I'll have to, like, make a thumbnail plaster Ash's face in there. Uh. But yeah. Uh, this is... This is Leaf Path for now. Art, go check her out. Give her some subscribes. Uh, maybe buy some of her art. She she's really good, and I'm not just saying that because she's my sister, and she'd probably beat me for saying that it's bad. But no, she she is really good. I'm contractually obligated to say that. I'm joking. She's no, not the whip. Anyway, seriously, though, go check her out. Give her some subscribes and stuff. Uh, and this is Squall 107 signing off. Except that I can't have to.